For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone talking some women's soccer here with head coach Casey Wilson and senior from Amarillo, Andrea Carpenter. Well, here we are. Two home <laughs> matches left. You've been dreading this question the whole time, but uh, 52 career goals now. But really, you don't measure your time at ACU in stats, do you? No, I don't. How do you measure it? Well, I guess I would measure it by, I guess, my memories. Mm. I don't know. I can still remember things from my freshman year. Um, I still remember girls and, um, you know, silly things we've done on bus trips. And, Let's go out with them. Oh, it, it, I better keep them, you know, and I don't want to embarrass too many people. Oh. What happens on the soccer bus days on the yeah, soccer? Is that true? That's very true. <laughs> but um, so I guess just all the memories I've gotten to make here. You know, you knew uh, once it was announced that AC was going to go Division One that that you wouldn't be able to play technically for a you know a, a national championship or at all for a national championship. But look at what you guys have done: five and three, your fourth place in the Southland Conference. Still a mathematical chance to to finish tied for first place in the league. Um, how satisfying has the year been? What uh, what do you think has been the key to your success? Um, so the year has been definitely satisfying. Um, it's been fun coming into a Division I first year program and kind of surprising people um, and doing well. And I think that our success has come from basically our team chemistry. I don't really know how to explain it, but we've just been so like connected and I think that that's where all our success has come from because we play with each other and for each other. And that's a curious thing, isn't it? Because different years you have different players and some move on, some come back, but chemistry is not a given, is it? Mm -mm. I, you have to build chemistry. I mean, the second that everyone comes in, you have to start doing that, doing things together as a team and being intentional uh, with reaching out to the new girls and, you know, making them feel welcome because it's scary coming from a junior college or high school. You know, you don't know any of these people. And so um, it starts from the beginning, being intentional with things like that. Have you thought much? I know you have a game Friday, obviously, but the Saturday, or Sunday rather, will be the last home match for you. Have you thought much about that? Well, I only think about it all the time because JC brings it up and because she's crying about it a lot. Which is another okay. senior, yeah. Yeah, you know, we we cry together about it, um, but they're not sad tears. I mean, some of them are, but um, I'm excited. My, a lot of my family's coming in, and so I'm really excited to get to you know play. Some of them have never even seen me play, so mm -hmm. like that's exciting. And um, you know, I want to win these games too. So I'm just really excited for the whole weekend. All right, let's talk to uh, the, the chemist over here and, and Coach Casey Wilson. Uh, she talked about chemistry, and, and you and I have talked about that on the Coach's Show on Monday nights as well. Uh, it's not uh, a given that it's going to happen every year, but you've talked about how impressed you've been with the way this team has come together. Well, you know, they, during training camp, you know, when they come in beforehand, I mean, they it's a, it's a priority for them first off to to get to know the new girls. I mean, they know they they really you know understand that to getting to know their teammates very well is is important, and that's something that they haven't overlooked over the years. It's something that they're like I said intentional about, and they spend the time and they and they that's something they know that'll help you know with uh, with on the field winning and just you know being a cohesive unit. You know, um, this this year, and you think about the the record five and three in the Southland Conference. You guys have beaten one of the teams tied for first. You, you're coming off a loss to Stephen F. Austin on Sunday. You told me uh, afterwards that that was an awfully good team that uh, that knocked you guys out. No, they're no, they're a real good team, and they they had a pretty sophisticated offense. You know, and you know it. But the thing is, is I've, even even with them, I felt that we played with them for a majority of the game, and we gave them an opportunity. And they even felt that, you know, that we came after them more than most of the teams did. You know, that they've played especially in conference this year. So you know, that's a tribute to you know the fact that you know the you know the, we're, we're just not out there just trying to hold on. That we're actually trying to go out and score some goals and win games. You know, and that's 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 the way we like to play. Well, I asked her the question earlier. I'll ask you: Have you thought about? much the fact that Sunday's going to be her last home match no we try not to think about it too much but it's depressing isn't it no I mean like yeah. I said it, you know it's it's hard because you know like I said the whole their whole Andrea's whole class has has been a big part of this program you know and then we're losing a big chunk of uh of, of experience that we that we've had for the last four years 
And so, you know, like I said, they'll definitely be missed. You know, they, they, they're a, a huge part of the program where it is today. But like I said, we'll definitely, we'll definitely miss that group. You'll have a couple of matches after the home match on Sunday. Uh, but uh, just last thing, if, if, if you tried to, to give me a few words that would describe Andrea and what she's, what, not only what she's meant, but just the kind of player she is, give me a, two or three. Well, I mean, the the big thing is that she's a competitor. You know, that's and um, you know, and, and I and I also use the word consistent. But uh, you know, the, the she's so competitive, and that's I think that's what sets people apart. With we you know those that have talent. You know, if some people have talent, but they're not competitive. But you mm -hmm. put those together, you know, and that usually you know builds a player that you know, and and, and uh, the success she's had over the last four years.